welcome to LLA's very own video news service, our very first foray into the world of digital media reporting. This is an exciting venture and the company are looking forward to working with Rapid Sales Solutions to develop innovative services like this to benefit all of our clients. And since our last newsletter, there have been some significant changes within the company, all aimed at continuously improving customer service. Our strategy is to make LLA programs learner focused. In practice, this means all of our team are focused on looking at ways they can help all learners progress in a timely way that really adds value to the work that they are doing. So for this month, we have news on important staff changes, a major initiative for the REF, latest propositions and key issues in logistics. Firstly, important news on the LLA team with a number of important changes to staff. Our office manager, Jules, departed to take on a new challenge with another training organisation as their centre coordinator. And we're delighted to announce the promotion of Carol Wardridge to the support manager role with strong assistance from James. The coaching and mentoring team of Peter, Adrian and Nick has also been reinforced with the arrival of Hayden Sandvig with his strong background in training in a retail environment. LLA has started an initiative with the RAF training cell at RAF Halton to promote the CILT and IOSCM qualification courses and the unique LLA award-winning supply chain improvement through learning delivery process. We are looking forward to developing stronger ties across all armed forces personnel, especially those expecting to leave the service shortly and are looking at other initiatives in this area. Watch this space. LLA has recently been asked by two organisations for proposals for in-depth staff development programmes. Both programmes are examining ways in which LLA can work with the organisations, one UK-based and the other overseas, to develop bespoke programmes and centre on the development of logistics and supply chain management skills in their workforce, giving them programmes that are closely aligned to the skills gap that the organisations have identified. In short, making the program shorter, more targeted and in line with where the organisations see themselves going in the future. And finally, one of the key issues in the UK currently is the control and cost of inventory, highlighted by a number of reports recently, including the decision by Dairy Crest to invest some of their maturing cheddar cheese stocks as part of their pension fund. LLA programmes are designed to give companies vital skills to control the flow of inventory through their supply chain. So why not give us a call to talk to one of our experienced practitioners to discuss this or any other supply chain and logistics issues. That's all from LLA until our next new bulletin. Bye for now.